Okay, the last part of what you need to do for your research project evaluation is the abstract, which will be the first part that the moderators will read. So this is a short presentation on what it is and how to write it. The abstract is 150 words maximum. It's in addition to the evaluation. So the total that you get to write is 1,650 words in total. Um, you can't use words left over from the abstract though in your main evaluation. It is only 150 words. Remember please that the moderators who will be reading your evaluation will not be seeing your folio or your outcome. They probably won't even be able to tell what the question was from your evaluation if you've done it in the structure that I've asked you to by using the performance standards as your subheadings and jumping straight in. So in order for them to understand what you've done, you need to have a good abstract. The abstract tells the moderators about your research project. The way that you split it up 150 words so it's only going to be four or five sentences um, I want you to use one or two sentences about your topic or the interest that you have in your topic or how you decided upon your topic so a bit of background information you also must include your question here there's a couple of ways you can do it and I'll show you some examples of that in a moment but just as we always do please have your question in bold and use quotation marks to make it very very obvious that this is the question that you are asking in your research project Use two or three sentences to outline your research, what you did, what research methods you used, etc. And give me at least one sentence which details the results of your research, so what your findings actually were. Some examples. Now these are the ones from the SaceBoard website. A couple of things I'd like you to note. I've changed the um, fonts for some of these. Have a look at how some of the fonts affect how readable the information is. Things like the line spacing between the fonts. Things like whether or not it's justified over at the side here or whether it's only left justified, or it's centered, etc, etc. Um, that can make it easier to read depending upon what you choose for the moderators. The easier you make it for the moderators to read, I believe the better off you are. So for the empathy example, the students chosen to have their question at the top of the page in bold in quotation marks. They've then got a, another subheading summary of the research question and their outcome. 148 words. My research project question was inspired by a trip to India last year. From this experience, I question how unwilling society was to eradicate social calamities, particularly poverty, and why some people are more inclined to act on issues of injustice than others. So there's your background information. As I researched, I discovered that empathy is a neurobiological function of the brain, particularly the left inferior frontal gyrus. I was able to correlate the neurobiological function was connected to the mirror neuron system. Now that doesn't actually tell me the type of research that was undertaken. I am assuming that that is from internet research, from book research, from scientific papers, etc. But it could have been clarified in there and I think that would have actually enhanced what the students done. Um, it is enhanced when life experiences stimulate an emotional response. I proved this through the application of two surveys which measured empathy levels. That is the only time that they've actually explained their research methods. As far as a summary goes, I think that could be strengthened by having more detail with regards to that in this section up through here. Okay. Remember that this section of the research project is only marked against S1, uh, S3, sorry, which is about clarity and about sentence structure and about grammatical um, correctness of what you write. Okay. Um, my outcome is in the form of a report explaining the results of my research. The key findings of my research is that empathy is not a static measurement, but is dependent on age, gender and education and is able to be manipulated and enhanced over time. So the key finding, my outcome of my research the next one was defending a property from bushfire. This was graded at a C. Note the change in font, size, style, etc. Um, they've just used a subheading summary. For my research project, I decided to study the topic of bushfires. No reason about why. My outcome was to write a report on the research question, so I know what type of format their outcome took. And here's their question in bold in quotations. How can you efficiently defend a rural property from a bushfire? This topic interested me in particular because my family has recently moved and it's crucial to be prepared in the event of a bushfire. So that's a little bit more information about how they came up with their topic. I was able to learn what was necessary to have in order to protect your property and those around you from a bushfire by researching this topic. So that's sort of one of their key findings. 
Um, again, it doesn't tell me a lot about their research methods, but it moves on. I used sources such as articles, books, internet sites, film clips, and even pamphlets in order to evaluate what was needed to defend a rural property. Very general research sources listed there. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more specifics. I also handed out numerous surveys to my neighbours and talked to the people from Work and Safety Wear, and I've raised the awareness of bushfires in my area and encouraged others to be prepared through presenting my report. So you can possibly see the difference between that one and the A band. This is one from a B band. The question that the student has asked, again, bold in quotation marks, this is at the top of their evaluation, so that they've got out of including this within their word count. So what is the long-term future for the survival of the southern hairy-nosed wombat and what can we do to ensure they survive? Summary of the question and outcomes. I decided on my research question after I'd seen several wombats that had been run over on the road between my home and school. I noticed that most were near the local national park. I interviewed experts in the field of conservation as well as local farmers. So there you've got the contrast between the two sides of the, the debate. Those that are for conservation and those that are possibly not, the farmers. Um, I tried to gauge what fellow students thought. My thinking changed from being totally in support of the wombats to thinking that there were more sides to the argument. I still couldn't stop the feeling that we needed to save the wombat for the future. My key finding is that wombat conservation is making a difference, but it's hard to convince everyone that it's important, especially farmers, because it could affect their livelihood. So that's a bit of an explanation about how their thinking changed. My outcome is a short article for the school newsletter and a report of all my research to back it up. I think that's a, a really good um, summary or abstract for a research project. The fruitarian diet one is the um, example of a D student. Again, notice the difference in font, the fact that it's all in bold, the fact that it's all um, justified, etc. And have to think about the readability of what it is that you're presenting to the moderators. So their question was, is a fruitarian diet good for a student studying Year 12? And their summary of their question and their outcome is, I'm trying to be a fruitarian and have been for six months. I don't believe that we should be eating meat or eggs, only things that drop from the trees. That can be considered to have died and not killed. Now remember, this is being judged again on grammatical sentence structure, etc. So there's a few issues with regards to that, and this is the first part of the, uh, of the evaluation that moderators read. I decided to look at this issue for my research project because my mother believes I need to have a better diet during Year 12. She wants me to keep being a vegetarian like her. My research was to talk to two of my friends who are mainly fruitarians and to my mother and I went to lots of websites and found a YouTube video. I also looked at a pamphlet I got from a lady at the market. Because of all this research, I've decided to produce a pamphlet on the benefits of being a fruitarian. So there's a little bit about the different types of research methods that they used. There's not too much on their actual findings. Um, and you can draw your own conclusions as to the quality of of their um, research, I suppose. Most of what they've done up here is talked about how they came up with their question. So they've recounted that rather than actually spoken about their research methods and their findings. Okay, so I hope that helps clarify the abstract for you a little bit. But remember, it is short, sharp and sweet. And it is the introduction to your topic that the moderators are going to see. So it's worth spending a little bit of time on to get it right. Good luck, guys.